Hi, this video uh, appears in uh, two parts. It is an exam question, an ad match, additional maths exam question, OCR, uh, session June 2018. Again, it's from the OCR board, additional maths exam paper, June 2018. It's question number 14. Uh, again, it's going to appear in two parts, so please follow through. The question uh, itself is here, two cars uh, P and Q, they accelerate from rest from a point O at the same time. So let's read the important parts again. Yeah, We have got two cars, P and Q, and they accelerate from rest. From rest means when t equals to zero, u, the initial velocity is zero from a point O at the same time, okay? This is point O, and we have P here and Q here. They start off at the same time. In part A, P accelerates uniformly at two meter per second squared. So A is, the acceleration is two meter per second squared, good. And in part one here, we are asked to write down the formula for the displacement s meters of p at time t seconds after leaving O. So you know it must be quite short because they're giving you one mark and it is write down, so it must be pretty simple. Let's read on. Using appropriate units in part two, we are asked to find the time taken for P to reach a speed of 90 km per hour. And in part B, uh, Q accelerates from rest with variable acceleration, A meter per second squared, where at time T seconds A is given, A equals one plus KT, where K is a, <coughs> excuse me, is a positive constant. Q passes P, when <coughs> excuse me when t equals to <coughs> excuse me when t equals to 10 again q uh, passes p when t equals to 10 so there's an element of overtaking involved like we have learned in our classes in part one we asked to find the value of k and in part two we asked to show that at the time when p reaches 90 km per hour q is traveling at a speed just less than 130 kilometer per hour. So uh, read the question again carefully. Um, make sure you know what they're saying. Uh, there are two cars here, P and Q. Uh, P is uh, mainly, or rather P is in part A mainly. In part B they tell you about Q and then they ask you to make some comparisons with P and Q in part B. Okay. So let's start with part A. Yeah. In part A, you're asked to write down the formula yeah, for the displacement uh, of P at time T seconds after leaving O. So now we're using a constant acceleration formula because we are told we are told that P accelerates uniformly. So we can use the constant acceleration formula S equals to UT plus half AT squared. Now we don't have to worry about this because U is zero because P starts from rest. So S equals to a half, what is A? Good, two, T squared, and you will get the answer S equals to T squared, easy. Good, in part two, using appropriate units, you're asked to find the time taken for P to reach a speed of 90 kilometer per hour. So this is also pretty straightforward. It's just that we have a kilometer per hour thingy here, so we have to convert it to meter per second. So, kilometer per hour, you want to convert it to meter per second, all you have to do is times 10 over 36. Yeah? So, let's look at the solution. We are asked to find uh, the time taken to reach 90 kilometer per hour. Uh, 90 kilometer per hour, you change it to meter per second, 90 times 10 over 36, so I have 9 is 4, uh, 9 is 10, and then I have 100 over 4, which is... 25 meter per second. That's what you see here. 
So we'd use the formula V equals to U plus AT. Uh, we can forget about U, U is zero. A is two. Uh, we are trying to find T, remember? They gave me V, okay, 90 kilometer per hour is 25. So we can write 25 equals to 2T, therefore T equals to 25 over 2 seconds, which is 12.5 seconds. Please like this video, share this video with as many friends as possible. Follow me on YouTube, follow me on themadcenter.com. Thank you.